today at a local refuge where my goal is to photograph waterfowl. Now this location has quite a few small ponds and it's also part of the floodplain of a major river. So there's usually a good amount of species that are here. So right now I'm sitting and I have probably about a dozen Canada geese, five mute swans, and probably about two dozen or so mallards. So let's see what we can get. Five geese swim right past me and two mallards just came up towards me. I'm hoping that these mute swan will come over this direction. They were kind of headed this direction but now they kind of are staying where they are. There's three that are close to the bank and then there's two other ones that are farther out in the center of the pond. So. I'm hoping if I sit here long enough they'll they'll come down this way so I can get some closer shots of them. There's no real spot to get really low to the water level. So I'm kind of forced to be about a foot or so, maybe two feet above water level. Which is a shame, but we'll make it work for today. I don't know if you can hear the wind or not, but it is cold this morning. It's been warm all week, and then the past two nights it's gotten down below freezing, so it feels like January now. Oh, the swan. 
Bonds are coming over this direction. Oh, sweet. right over towards me. This is awesome. Oh, jeez. The two that were on the far side of the pond came all the way over this direction. That was awesome. The three swans that were along the bank came swimming right over towards me. They're probably about 20 yards away. And I was so focused on them that the two that were on the far side swam around and came over and they were like 15 yards away from me. They swam right past me. Ah, it's awesome. Such a beautiful bird so neat to see. Awesome. They've uh, swam 
they're swimming away from me again now. So I'm going to get up and see if I can find anything else. I am headed a little bit farther into the refuge now. There's a few more ponds that are a little bit closer to the river, so I gotta hike in a little bit. I'm not too sure if they're gonna be frozen over or not. They're a little bit smaller than the ones I was just at, so we'll see. But there's usually a good assortment of other songbirds and such around as well, so I'm sure it won't be a wasted trip. Well, the first pond I got to was still frozen, so I'm gonna move on and see what the next one looks like. Oh, I hear a kingfisher, so that's a good sign because there's got to be some open water somewhere in order for the kingfisher to hunt, so I guess we'll find out. Well, there is some open water here, which is great. There's two American black ducks that are down on the water. And there's a Cooper's hawk that's chasing a bird. Cooper's hawk was chasing a bird. I'm not too sure what bird it was. Looked like the size of a robin. But they ducked down into the woods and I'm not too sure neither of them came out, so. But the uh, kingfisher was here. There's a lot of dead standing trees in the water and the kingfisher was perched on the top of one of them but it flew so I'm gonna sit here and hope that it'll come back because it's a perfect spot perfect perch there's a nice little open section I was sitting there for about an hour or so and there wasn't much activity. The two American black ducks are still in the water. They're foraging in the one spot that's kind of still thawed out. The kingfisher flew off farther down the waterway so it hasn't come back. So I'm going to head back over to the ponds that I was at before definitely had a lot more activity. I'll take a spin around and see if there's any other species that are around. If there are, I'll stick around. If not, 
probably head out. The sun is getting pretty harsh. I just realized I had the uh, little dead cat windscreen thing on the microphone and it was getting in some of the pictures. So I apologize for that. There's a little bit of a gray fluff on top of the screen, that's what it was. So I took it off and put the the other foam piece on, so. But I was walking down the trail and I came across the Cooper's Hawk that I saw hunting earlier. And it did indeed catch a robin. It was up on a tree and I didn't even know it was there, but when I got close to it, it flew. And it definitely had something in its talons and it looked like a robin, so. Um, it's unfortunate for the robin, but it's impressive to see them flying after a bird in midair and chasing it around. It's amazing how aerodynamic they are in flight. So I'm going to make my way back over to these ponds and see if anything new is over that way. This is amazing. The swans are about 20 feet in front of me.
20 yards in front of me and they're just continuously foraging. They don't even care that I'm here. I'm just gonna stay here and keep photographing and videoing these. I'll put the videos at the end of the video here. I hope you enjoy, but I'm just gonna stay here and keep, keep watching these awesome birds. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you liked watching this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos I release. A new video gets released every Wednesday and Friday, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.